The Spartans will return an impressive 17 starters this season and will be under the command of a new head coach whose ties to the university go as far back as to when he was a toddler. Hi, I'm Cassie Soto inside the Mountain West Network studio. Here's what you need to know as we count down a kickoff with the San Jose State Spartans. The start of the 2017 season will mark the beginning of the Brent Brennan era. Brennan is no stranger to the Spartans program. His parents met at the university where his father played on the football team and his mother was a cheerleader. Brennan's ties to San Jose State don't stop there. From 2005 to 2010, he was the program's wide receivers coach, recruiting coordinator, and special teams coordinator. In his first time around, Brennan coached San Jose State's only two players with at least 200 career receptions and 3,000 career receiving yards. To have the opportunity to lead a program that's special to me, where I grew up with this program, I grew up going to the games, I had a chance to be an assistant coach there. It's always been special to me, so uh, when this opportunity to interview came, I, I, was, I was like, all right, I was all in, I was fired up to go. I think he's brought kind of the fun back. I felt like before, you know, it was more, some, I felt at times we kind of felt like robots. And now, you know, it, it's just fun. Um, coming to practice, like, coming at 6 a.m. is not a problem. Junior running back Malik Roberson will be the guy to watch on offense. The explosive runner was the team's leading rusher with 508 yards, including touchdown runs of 87 and 60 yards. The 87-yard run tying for ninth longest by an FBS player in 2016 and the sixth longest in San Jose State history. Malik is just a great kid and he comes from a great high school program. I knew him in high school. So I recruited that area, so I have, I have actually a lot of history with that kid. But he's got a nice combination of, of speed and power for, for a not very large back. He, he runs hard, no matter what he does. He comes down, he knows that uh, we're running up-tempo offense now, and he knows the offensive like, line gets tired. He runs down the line really fast, he passes, says, hey, keep on going, you're doing great, let's run the ball more. Um, he's, he's a guy that you want to block for. Entering his fourth season with the Spartans, senior corner Andre Chasseray will be vital to the defense's success. Last season, Shashere led the team with four interceptions, 14 pass breakups, and became the first Spartan since 2012 with at least 100 yards of interception returns. Shashere was named the team's most valuable player, and as coaches and players will say, it was for reasons more than just what he did on the football field. Dre's just got a great combination of, I think, speed and length, and now he's a mature player. He's been well coached. He is, now he plays with patience, you know, where that's the hardest thing at DB is, you know, training your eyes to be in the right place and both on and off the field. He's an awesome kid. He's, I mean, just talk to him, you know, like he's one of the most engaging kids I've ever been around. Big smile, you know, big hug, big enthusiasm, love it. San Jose State will start the season with a heavy hitter and host the University of South Florida on August 26th. From there, the Spartans will host Cal Poly and then visit both Texas and Utah. The non-conference matchups will not be an easy task, but the team is ready to take on the challenge. I get the schedule questions a lot, you know, and I tell everybody, like, I don't get to complain about it, I have to play it, you know, and so what am I going to do? Am I going to cry and be a baby or man up and get the guys ready to go? All right, so it's an exciting time here at San Jose State. A lot of positive things to look over before we start the season. Number one, an up-tempo offense uh, for the Spartans. Andrew Souter comes in, uh, the offensive coordinator for San Jose State. He wants to run quick, and the Spartans can do that with the depth at the running back position. Malik Roberson, obviously the top choice for the Spartans, but some more. Ziegler is back, gives you a lot of speed at that position, and the depth as well. Tyler Nevins is a new name Spartan fans will hear, and also Jamar Williams, a bigger back, a third down option for San Jose State. And then you go into the defensive side of the thing. Of course, uh, the strength is the secondary. Everybody knows Andre Chachere's name, Maurice McKnight's name. But to me, the big name for Spartan fans this year was a freshman last year, Trayvon Bieria. Now you have to remember, he was fifth in tackles last year for San Jose State as a freshman. He's going to be much, much better this year as a sophomore, leading the money team for San Jose State. Should be a lot of fun to watch them. Thanks, Justin. Once again, the Spartans will open up the season at home against the University of South Florida on August 26th. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Cassie Soto.